it's your girl JWA welcome back to my channel the trending topic of the world last week it was Carly Russell it's three o'clock in the morning I look out the window it was a fucking baby standing on a corner but we gonna talk about that later today we are talking about Carisha's son I His name is Ja, Ja Jair. Um, he was currently at Rolling Loud last night with his auntie JT. Period. And there were strippers around and he was on Uzi set. He was throwing money in the air and everybody's just having mixed feelings about it. So we're having mixed emotions about it after seeing the video because some people are saying there's no strippers around. Some people are saying that it's perfectly fine, you know, he should be okay to do that because his parents are famous. How do y'all feel about this? Like, comment below right now how y'all feel in this moment after seeing the video. How do y'all feel about this 10-year-old boy throwing money at this Rolling Loud event? Now, there are strippers in the vicinity, but they weren't directly in front of him. I don't know if y'all remember, but... Suki Hana was bent right over in front of a young boy and they got that all on camera. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, in this moment, it's really on JT. It's JT's fault. She took the young boy to the Rolling concert to see Uzi and he out there like he 25 throwing money in the air. I ain't even been to the strip club yet throw money in the air. So, I asked the people how they feel about it before I tell y'all personally how I feel about it. I asked the people how they feel about it and I got a lot of feedback from a lot of mothers. <laughs> well, first comment is from Miss Taylor and she said honestly he will never be the average little boy so it's not surprising i don't see the issue but personally i wouldn't let my son do it so she's saying you know she personally wouldn't let her son do it she feels like he's not gonna be an average young boy he's already in the industry so this isn't gonna be new to him like that's that's something to consider another comment says he was on stage at a concert that a thousand other kids were at as well is that he's a celebrity child so the world wants to make it a big deal i seen the whole video and he wasn't throwing money on strippers he was having fun on stage so some people see it as he was just throwing money in the air he was having fun on stage another comment states he wasn't throwing money on strippers you have to look at the video he was throwing it on stage okay so she's saying the same thing um Okay, Instagram, they kind of feel the same way. They said that they don't see a problem with it, but that's her kid, her rules. They said their mom brought them to the Red Light District in Amsterdam at 13. Please somebody let us know what the um, Red Light District in Amsterdam is. We have no idea what goes down in the D. Like, what's going on in Amsterdam? What goes God, please, no, no! 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 Okay, y'all. So this is how I really feel about it, okay? This is how I feel about it. I personally feel, when I saw the video, it didn't make me cringe. I felt like, one, he's already probably been exposed to a lot more. Um, I feel like it's only being taken out of precautions because he is a celebrity's child. If this was like a cookout in Miami, Period. a grown lady probably would let her son throw some money in the air at her party. Like, that's not unnormal. That's just sometimes how they, and she is from Miami, so that's just how they are. That's how they let their young ladies dance. Their, their dance, their dances are kind of explicit and a lot of people may not agree with it but that's just how their culture is down south that's just how they grew up but i also do feel like with everything being pushed with this transgender and lgbt community it's like she's also giving her son an opportunity to be exposed to something that 
the world is trying to take away from him. They're trying to take away a lot of black men's manhood, their masculinity. Like, so exposing him to this early, it could be, you know, an effect later. But who's to say that what they're pushing on our kids isn't going to have an effect? It's also going to have an effect. So it's, it's, it's a hard one. That's a hard one for me. Like, I, I understand that there were women around. They were half naked, but... Who's to say that that's not what he needs to see right now? We're seeing men in pink and Barbies and wearing wigs and they're accustomed to it now. And that's not normal. So people are saying this isn't normal. You know, it's a double standard. And he's a little boy. He should like females. Now, the money part. Oh, yeah. He could have gave that money to his mama and said, Mama, put this in the safe for me. We could have a little trust fund later on. He's not that smart. He's a young boy. He's doing what he sees. So personally, I feel like in this case, oh, let's see. Some more people are commenting on the live from TikTok. They're saying, do I support it? I can't support nothing that I'm not able to do. Okay. I, I, I don't have the opportunity to give my son to throw up in the air. If my son was in a position to have that type of money, no, we wouldn't be throwing it up in the air or rolling loud. But we're not in her predicament. We're not We're not young Miami. So, you know, she's able to do those things. Look who she's around, Diddy. Like, y'all, y'all, I mean, certain things we're not going to understand because they're not in our, you know, life status, our caliber. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. I personally do not support him throwing the money because it seems like a waste. Just like when Kodak threw the money in the ocean and in the um toilet that was a waste of money and that that made everybody upset but it's just like that's them those are their people i didn't see no strippers in front of him so looks like the young boy gonna have a great life like that's it he's gonna have fun great life i didn't see anything bad he looked like he had a bunch of people surrounding him and that's who his mama chose him to be around like I think people should just mind their business. Like sometimes it's okay to just let people do them and what they do. Oh, they sending me roses. Mm. Um, <laughs> where, what am I supposed to say when I get a rose, babe? What am I supposed to say? Mmm, so rose smells so good. Mmm, rose. Somebody said, heck no, nah, that's not ice spice. That's water sugar. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Who is that? Ooh, y'all trying it. Y'all are trying it today. Um, but yeah. New updates have come in from Carly Russell. <laughs> Her attorney states, and I quote, Carly Russell attorneys announces that she was never kidnapped and never saw a baby. It was all made up. There's no kidnapping done on Thursday, July 13, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area where she identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident. My client apologizes for, act, for her actions to this community. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. She need to go to jail. Carly, you need to go to jail. And the fuck up. Carly, nobody else in this world would have gotten away with that. Carly, okay? I don't know who you working with. <laughs> she working with somebody, y'all, because anybody else, if there was a black man or somebody else with little less, she looked like she went to school. She, her people probably had money. I don't know, but something's up. Because you don't play like that with the law. We can't play like that with the law. So how is this young lady able to play like she was kidnapped, involved a fake child, and then not get in trouble for all of this? Like, that means anybody else can just say that they want to go missing. We might as well just all try it. Start a GoFundMe and everything. Like, no. Carly needs to spend at least five days in jail. My homegirl went to jail for some little, little small stuff. So she need to go to jail, like, for real. I'm not even kidding. That was not cool. She... Real people are out here being abducted, kidnapped, kids are being hurt. And she is like, 
out here thinking that's something to play with. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Sunday, Zeus Network put out three hit bangers. We started off with Bad Boys, middle of it with Jocelyn's Cabaret, and ended off with Krishan and Blueface, um, Crazy in Love. So, I went on Baddies East as well. We're supposed to be getting Baddies East, I guess, when Bad Boys end. So, we'll have three shows at the same time. Y'all, first, let's just work our way down, okay? Before we close this out. Because Zeus Network has been on the road. Jocelyn has come back with a season four after they said she couldn't. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. After the whole fiasco with Amber and the lawsuit and whatnot, she's back with a season four. A bunch of new girls. She let a few girls from the past come back. And she's straight dogging them. Like, straight dogging them. I don't know if y'all have seen the episode. If you haven't. Go check it out right now. Jocelyn Scabaret, New York. She has literally treated these girls like crap. And these are the girls that were on tour with her when she was going through her little situation. They was fighting for her, having her back. But the way she's treating them now? Mm. And that's why people should just pay attention to her as a character. Like, I like Jocelyn. But we know her characteristics by now. She gonna be your friend at first. And then... We don't know. She get on that stuff and start switching up. This episode, she done threw Raven on the ground. After Raven was finna lick the lady feet. She licked the lady feet and everything. And literally, Jocelyn threw her on the ground and told them they couldn't perform twice. She was telling Lucky, Lucky Hustler from season one and two that she was ugly. She had to get out. People was telling me that she wasn't wrong for going off on Lucky because Lucky hang out with Big Legs and everybody knows Jocelyn just got into this big altercation with Big Legs. So I guess I can understand that. But I still love Lucky so I don't want her talking to her like that. Um, Natural is back. Miss Wet Wet is back. Oh my gosh. Miss Wet Wet is back. Um, what's her slime? What's her saying? Um, Miss Wet Wet. What's her name? What's her what's her thing? Um, what's her saying though? Man, she be like always, always wet, never thirsty, <laughs> <laughs> always wet. Yes, that's um Miss Wet Wet, Miss Natural is back and yummy. Y'all remember Jocelyn was just um going off on Yummy and Miss Natural, so she this what she do. She she fight with you, she use you, and then she bring your own mat. So, Melissa, that's um Jocelyn's manager slash cocaine best friend. I don't like her. She needs to go. She needs to go. She needs to go. We don't like her. We don't like Melissa. Melissa is a bad influence. She was just dating Mimi. Now you're best friends with Jocelyn. You know Jocelyn and Mimi don't like each other. I don't like her. Um, And then she got a bunch of new girls auditioning. And it's only one episode out. So, if you haven't seen it already, you haven't missed much. It's only one episode out. But it's pretty good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 9.5 because it looked like Jocelyn still hasn't changed. We thought she did. She said she stopped using coke, ecstasy, heroin. Did she say heroin? I don't want to put no drug on the lady. Uh, she just said she stopped using pills, so it looks like she's still turning up on the folks. Somebody want to go live with me? Is that her? Who is it? If it's some weird, I'm kicking you off. What's up? Hey, where you from? Why? He hung up. You know what? Sometimes niggas can't handle bad bitches. They just... And, you know, I understand. I understand. I understand. Um, so, we're not even gonna talk about JT Snore Coke. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Duh. Hey, girl. Thank you. Okay, I have a question for you. And I, you know who the city girls are? Oh, yeah. Her son went to a Rolling Loud concert, right? Mm -hmm. And there were strippers around, right? And he started throwing money in the air on stage. But the strippers were in front of him. They were just on stage. And then he started throwing money in the air. Do you feel like, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like that's inappropriate or do you feel like that's okay? That's 
he's on a set with his family. He's on there with his family. That's a hard one because I like strip clubs. So, and I'm happy to go to him with my man. Like, and I like him to have a good time. Well, wait, wait, let me tell you, the little boy is 10. With, yeah, with the family, though, that's pushing the limit. That's, okay. That's, a little, that's going a little too far, I think. I don't think that's very appropriate. Okay. Thank y'all for watching this video. I had a good time with y'all today. We talked about Carly Russell. We talked about Carisha's son. Drop y'all comments below. Make sure y'all let me know, honestly, how you feel. This is a judgment-free space. Nobody should feel judged based off of their opinion. And y'all let me know if y'all like these type of videos so we can do more podcast settings. I'm definitely enjoying this feedback that y'all gave me on Instagram and Facebook. So do that again. I appreciate that. And y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe. Oh, no, 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 I got tongue twisted. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this video right now if you haven't already. And thank y'all for watching my video. It's Schwa.